Here we are being asked for the pH of a buffer solution. That is a solution that contains not only an acid, but its conjugate base. When this dissolves, it will produce F minus ions, which are the conjugate base of hydrofluoric acid. So how are we gonna figure this one out? Well, the relevant equilibrium here is hydrofluoric acid reacting with water giving away its proton to make H3O plus and an F minus is left behind. See how that's the conjugate base of the acid? That means my equilibrium expression, my Ka, is the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of F minus all divided by the concentration of HF and we don't include the H2O because it's liquid. All the other ones were aqueous. So, how do you solve an equilibrium expression like this one? The most common way to do it is with an ice table. I'm going to start with my HF. It creates H3O plus and F minus. But watch this. My initial concentrations of HF are 0.2 and F minus is 0.1. In a lot of weak acid, weak base equilibria, you're gonna start with only reactant and you won't have product left. But here, because we're starting with some conjugate base already in solution, our initial concentration of the conjugate base is not zero. The change, let's assume it goes to the right, minus X for the reactants, plus X for the products because we're gaining a certain amount that we don't know how much yet. And so my equilibrium concentrations are 0.2 minus x, x, and 0.1 plus x. I'm gonna take these equilibrium concentrations and plug them into this equilibrium expression. At the same time, I'm gonna use the Ka I was given to plug in here. So what we end up with is 6.3 times 10 to the negative four equals. Concentration of H3O plus was X. Concentration of F minus was 0 0.1 plus X. Concentration of HF, 0 0.2 minus X. Now I'm gonna make an assumption because this is a pretty small number. I'm gonna assume that X is small relative to each of these numbers try to cancel them out. We'll see if that assumption holds up later. But now, how do I solve for x? Well, I have to undo division by 0.2. We undo division with multiplication. So I'm gonna multiply that by the other side. And we have to undo multiplication by 0.1. So we divide by 0.1. On my calculator, I end up with 6.3 times 10 to the negative 4 times 0.2 divided by 0.1. I end up with, hey, did I do that right? 6.3 times 10 to the negative 4 divided by 0.1 times 0.2. Yeah, I guess I did. X turns out to be 0 0.00126, which is pretty small relative to 0.1. It's about 1% of it. That's, that's okay with me. I'll leave it there. And so that means that the concentration of H3O plus in the equilibrium solution is 0 0.00126 moles per liter. Check it out. See how the equilibrium concentration of H3O plus is X? Yeah. So if we want to, we can find the pH by taking the negative log of that number 0.00126. The negative log of that gives me 2.9. And so the pH of this buffer solution is 2.9. End of story. The key to figuring out the pH of a buffer solution is to use an ice table with an equilibrium concentration, or sorry, initial concentration that is not zero. 
Now there's actually an easier way to do buffer calculations. It's called the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. I'll show you how to use that in a different video, but for now, this is the old school way. Yo, best of luck.